another Blender tutorial today and we're going to be talking about rocks. There's a lot of quick, way to, ways, quick ways to model rocks and lots of um, complicated and time consuming ways to model rocks. Today we're going to be exploring, um, I'm sure it's been used somewhere before but I haven't seen it around online at all so I'm going to share how we can use metaballs to create a semi-procedural semi rock effect so we can we can take a look and we can see that the results here are really quite good we get quite good edge flow um, on our object it's quite comparable to if you were to model rocks for yourself with minimal n-gons and loops where you would roughly expect loops to be um, so we're just going to come over here and we're going to get into making some rocks. Um, this is a semi-procedural method and we're going to use some metaballs as a seed. So I'm just going to add in some capsules and we're going to make some duplicates using Shift D on the keyboard and we're just going to Have fun, and the brilliance of this is that you can have a fast rock in any shape that you would like in under a couple of minutes. I'm just going to get a little bit fancy here, and I'm just going to do as I did with the prior example. I'm just going to do some crenellation looking things. So I'm really just duplicating these these metaballs in and pretty much having fun with their placement so I'm just going to add a couple of regular balls in and do some scaling here to increase the complexity of the result that we get a bit and I've deliberately left this in here because this is going to be a little bit of a gotcha with this method um, you'll see what I mean now so the way we're going to start off these rocks now we've got our meta balls is we're going to select our object and this is one of the freeze points in our semi procedural workflow and we're going to do F3 and then we're just going to search for convert to and then mesh and that's going to give us a basic mesh if you needed a higher resolution mesh you can add a ball and if you're not getting the results you need you can come down to here and you can go to resolution viewport and that will change the quality of the meta ball and that will let you get a little bit of a varied result in the starting seed. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add in a remesh modifier and we're just going to play around with the scale a little bit and we're going to up the octave depth to about there. Which will be about good for us and then we're going to add in a bevel modifier. Now this is going to make up the basis of our rocks. So our scale here is going to have a big effect on the shape of the rocks and what kind of result we get. So is the octave depth. So if we want simpler rocks we bring the octave depth down and if we want more complex ones we bring it up, but generally four is about a nice four, a four or a five is where you're going to really want to get that set. So down in our bevel modifier, we're going to set an angle limiting, and that's going to be the second thing that determines how our rocks get formed. So then we're going to come up to our bevel modifier 
and we are also going to click segments here and when we add in a subdivision surface after this we can see that we start to get these really cool rock effects and just by a method of playing with our angle limiting and our segmentation we get different rocks also um, if we unclick clamp overlap then we can use shift here and we can determine how sharp or smooth the rock effect is so I'm going to keep it quite sharp for this. So I'm just now going to duplicate this a second time. And we can see these are already starting to look like pretty OK rocks. But we're going to finish these off in two separate ways. The first way is I'm just going to up the segmentation. And then I'm going to call that done. And that would be for a really super basic um, rock effect. Um, sometimes we get some errors with this um, but they're usually things that are pretty simple to fix. If we turn that down one we can see there and I'm just going to apply this one so I can show how, how to fix this. All we do is we apply the bevel and the remesh and if we tab in we can just smooth these out and they smooth out and the brilliant thing about it as well is everything is once we apply the remesh these rocks are completely editable so we can come in here and if we want to get some different kind of rocky shapes we can do it so the second way we're gonna finish one of these off is we are going to get it to about where we want and we're going to apply everything apart from our last subdivision and we're going to replace that with a multi-resolution and we're going to come up a couple of times in in subdivision I think I'll take it to a 3 for this and then we can go over into sculpting mode and we can just from blender kit we can pick a rock texture and then we can just sculpt sculpt away on this mesh to add extra detail le levels one of the really good methods for this is pushing and pulling a bit so we can break up all of these lines and you can just really really quickly finish off and what you get left with if I just come over here to to my viewpoint and view, view wireframe here is if we come back into object mode and we can we can see that we get a really good topology going through simple right up to a high resolution sculpt and this took us under about five minutes or so to complete um, and it gives us rocks of 
any shape we really really want and it's an ultra fast method to create really good realistic rocks so if you want to finish this off just for example you could come out to blender kit and you could go and add in a rock material and wait for it to load in we we'll use this one that's already loaded in ah yes I need to be in my material preview mode I am a fool so we can see just with some mapping on this we could get really really fast rock effects um, like I have done down here um, thanks for watching I hope that's useful